Hey guys, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors and thanks for tuning in to this week's fishing report. This week we're going to dive straight into the fishing report. We're going to start up on Lake Winnebagoshish. I talked to Chad from the Pines Resort. He said fishing is still really good. Now he said walleye fishing, they've been finding walleye in anywhere from 8 to 32 feet of water. Now he said you'll find them in those depths depending on the weather conditions. If it's cloudy and windy, they'll be up a little shallower. If it's clear and calm, they're going to be out deep. So pay attention to your weather when you're fishing those walleyes, and that will determine how you should fish them. Now he told me that still a jig and a minnow is the best bet for finding those fish. They have been picking some up on leeches in a jig, and at low light periods they're getting, getting them trolling crankbaits. So he said walleye fishing has still been really good. They've been catching them anywhere from 13 to 27 inches long. And he said it's been a really good start to the season. Now he did mention that bass fishing has been really hot. The bass are pulled up in shallow on the weed beds. They're starting to spawn. They've been catching a ton of four plus pound bass. So if you're into bass fishing, go up to Lake Winnebogoshish. Go to the shallows and you'll land some really nice bass. Now as far as panfish goes, he said that the bluegills and crappies, they're up in the weeds, they're starting to make their beds, they're starting to spawn, and you can sight fish them right now. He said there's some really big bluegills and giant crappies, so if you want to go catch some big panfish, go try Lake Winnebogoshish before the spawn is over. Now if you're looking for a place to stay up on Lake Winnebogoshish, Chad from the Pines, he told me they do have openings towards the end of June, July, August, and through the rest of the year. So if you want to book a trip up there, get a cabin, an RV site, or a tent site, they do have openings. Now they also have a full restaurant and bar, so go ahead, get something to eat and drink when you're up there. Now he did mention they do have a guide service, so if you need a guided trip, go ahead, call Chad, and he can set you up with that. So... That's going to do it for Winnebogoshish. Now let's move on to Leech Lake. So I talked to the guys from Leech Lake Guide Team. They said the fishing has still been really good. Now they said that them fish are in transition right now, the walleye specifically. They're moving out of the shallow bays and they're starting to find them on the first and second breaks. They said as the water temps start to rise and hold in the mid to upper 60s, Agency Bay and Walker Bay are really going to start firing off. Now they said that a eighth ounce or quarter ounce jig with a shiner minnow is still king, but they're getting them on leeches and a half a night crawler on those jigs as well. Now for the deeper fish, they said you can target those with a slip bobber and a leech or with a lindy rig. Now a, key, uh, a few key areas that they gave me to look for on the east side was Pelican Island, Diamond Point, Partridge Point, and the Annex. They said they're catching some really big walleyes over in the Annex. So if you want to target some of them bigger walleyes, that's a good place to check. Now if you're not looking for walleyes, they said the North Bays are full of panfish right now. And if you want to go catch some nice bluegills, some giant crappies, or a bunch of rock bass or largemouth bass, those North Bays are holding a ton of fish right now. So go up there find some fish, and have a great time. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay on Leech Lake, we highly recommend Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Feel free to, while you're out fishing, pull your boat in there, whether you're staying there or not. You can go up, have a nice meal and drink out on their patio, and just enjoy your time up there. So, if you're looking to get up to Leech Lake, go ahead and call Leech Lake Guide Team LLC, or if you're looking for a place to stay, Call Cam or Courtney from Horseshoe Bay Lodge. All right, now moving on to Mille Lacs Lake. I talked to Mark from the Norseman Guide Service, one of the premier smallmouth guides out on Mille Lacs Lake. He said the smallmouth bite has gotten a little bit tougher. He said a lot of the males have moved up in shallow, but they're not seeing very many female smallmouth up in the shallows yet. Now he said there's a full moon coming early this coming week. He predicts that the Females will move up, start doing their spawning things, and then move out quick. He said 
They probably won't be up there long, so if you want to capitalize on that spawning bite, you better be ready to hit it as soon as those females pull up in there. Now they have been catching some really big males. He told me they caught a 21 inch male yesterday, which is a giant male smallmouth. Now as far as depth, he told me about four to eight feet of water is where they're finding them, but he said they're extremely spooky. He said you need to spot lock or anchor way off of where you're finding the fish, make really long casts, and just be cautious of letting them see you or spooking them with the boat. Now he said you need to put the jerk baits away. He said the Ned Rig is king right now. He said the rest of the year he recommends fishing a Ned Rig exclusively. So if you're not familiar with the Ned Rig, pick some up, get familiar with it because that is the way to go for catching smallmouth right now. Now Mark also said that on windy days he's been seeing a lot of really nice walleyes up in the shallow rocks. So if you want to chase some walleyes you can find them up in the shallow rocks on windy cloudy days he's also run into some nice muskies up in the shallows they're probably getting close to the end of their spawn and they'll be moving out into the basins to start feeding heavy but right now they're still finding some of the muskies up in shallow so if you guys are looking for a smallmouth guided trip out on Mille Lacs Lake go ahead and call Mark from the Norseman Guide Service and book that trip now all right, moving to Castles Resort in Isle Bay. I talked to Jeff today. He said that fishing has been really good. He said perch, walleye, pike, bass, all of those are firing on all cylinders right now. He said one night they caught over 20 walleyes just off of their dock. Now they do run a launch service, which is a big guided boat. Uh, I think it holds 24 people. Those are running Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. He said, why sit in a bar and just drink there when you can bring a cooler full of beer out on the launch, drink some beers, and catch some fish at the same time. So look into booking a launch trip. It's $35 a person. They provide the bait, your rod and reel, and they have bathrooms on board. Now, as far as where he said they're finding the most walleyes, he said 20 foot or deeper, but on windy, cloudy days, they're finding them up on the shallower rocks as well. Now, he said pike are firing on all cylinders out there. They're trolling spoons and spinners for them. He said they're catching some really nice pike. Now, he said the schools of perch can be a little bit tricky to get on, but if you can find the perch, he said they're catching a lot of really nice sized perch. He said they're moving around, you got to stay on top of them, but if you do find them, you should be able to capitalize on a good perch bite. Now as far as the smallmouth go, he said the same thing that Mark told me. The smallmouth are up shallow, at least the males are. They have found some females out a little deeper in that 12 to 16 foot, but the males are up in 8 foot or less. They're cruising around looking for the females, but they're catching some really nice smallmouth right now. He said it's an absolute shootout. And if you want to go catch some really nice smallmouth, head on up to Mille Lacs and get out there because now is the time. So if you're looking to stay on Mille Lacs Lake out of Isle Bay, go ahead and call Castles Resort. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this week's fishing report. Uh, if you use any of the resorts or guides mentioned in the fishing report, please let them know that you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. If you get out on any of the lakes, catch some nice fish, take some pictures, send them in to us at livingmnoutdoors at gmail.com and we'll do our best to feature you on next week's fishing report. Remember guys at the boat ramp, be kind. We're all fishermen just trying to have fun. So lend a helping hand or just sit there and be patient. But I hope you guys can make it out this weekend. Go catch some fish, have a blast and we'll see you next week for the fishing report. And if you're not doing so, Get on out there and get living.